Hey everyone, how you doing out there? Sorry, I'm not looking too presentable tonight. What little hair I got left is getting a little long. I gotta get myself to the barber shop. Or the beauty salon. So indeed, what are these things? I have been teasing for a while now that we're gonna be releasing the, the lock picking lipsticks. Um, and they do look the part, don't they? Come in a variety of great colors for your fashion choice. But no, um, this is a joint venture between myself and Tony, Bite Stealer. Uh, you've heard me mention him before plenty of times, right? So 3D Lock Sport. They have been created by, well, by a need that exists in the industry in, in an edge case sort of way. If you do a lot of lock disassembly, there's a couple ways to go about that, right? I mean, if you have the actual working key of a lock, you understand, right? You get the tail cap off, you turn the key so that the plug and the pins aren't binding, you eject it out with a follower tool, bingo, bango, Bob's your uncle. What if you don't have the working key? What if that's missing? Well, you could pick the lock, you could bump it. In fact, the origin, if, if you didn't know, the origin of bump keys for many locksmiths, there was this sort of trade rumor where you could cut this weird key and kind of stick it in the lock and they would bash it down on their workbench. That was how they would bump locks long, long ago. That's what a lot of people told me the origin of bump keys was for getting that plug to turn because if you don't have the key, well, you got to free that cylinder somehow. Well, if you don't have any of those things, or if you're trying to be a little more cautious and forensically sound, we teach these in our, in our classes at Red Team Alliance, right? If you have a key blank that can raise all the pins way up so their shear lines are out of the plug, it is possible to come in through the rear side with a thin bit of metal, a cylinder shim, boop, 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 boop. As you advance that shim in, you pull the, you actually are pulling the keys out. I'll show you this up close in a minute. And there you go, you can slide the shim in and separate one pin chamber at a time. The benefit of that tactic is that, well, you're only touching the key pins with the blade of a key. That's kind of, you know, what would normally touch the key pins. And you're only touching the backs of the pins the, up in the shear line with a wiser style cylinder shim, which is what a lot of forensic techs will do if they have to disassemble a lock. So you're not imparting pick marks or bump marks or any of that sort of thing if you're trying to maybe get key bidding out of a lock cylinder that you have swiped. But here's the rub. Carrying all of this around, right? Carrying around key blanks, that your standard SC4, or if you're really snazzy, you get the Schlage L, the SC20, so it fits in all your Schlages. Uh, we used to get these all the time from Jet. Jet manufacturing is gone. Uh, I mean, they're technically gone. Uh, Keyline, Keyline bought them. So we're, maybe we'll get the L blanks back in stock again. We've been working on it really hard. But the harder thing, though, is carrying around these cylinder shims and holding these cylinder shims, right? They are, I mean, you can get them in a big old pack, right? But you don't need a billion of these. You don't need them falling all over the place like Tic Tacs spilling out when you just want one. Also, administering the shim into the lock. It, it's fine, you can do it with your bare hands. Most people do, I do it all the time. But if you have the ability to use a shim holder, and there are some designs online, some people production, you know, in commercial production, some people 3D print them, a shim holder would be really nice. Well, what about a shim holder holder? So we have our lock, we don't have a key. Gonna have to go in through the rear with a shim, guiding it into place with a blank. How do we do that? Well. Get yourself your lipstick. In here, first things first, we got a nice little shim holder. This can hold probably, we haven't really jammed them in there, right? But this will probably hold at least a dozen or more cylinder shims. But before it's time to use that shim, the first thing we need is to get the tail cap off. Well, you can do that manually. You can just kind of push down on this little detent plunger and roll it with your fingers, or you could use the front end of the lipstick, which has a perfect grooved tool to notch right in there and get it off for you easily. Got our rear shim, can only get in so far, right? And holding it steady and not crumpling and bending it, that's something that occasionally people have trouble doing. Lipstick forward, shim on the inside like this, and then pull back on the lipstick to lock it in. Now, there you go. So you can manage this much more easily, you can handle it more smoothly, line things up, get things where they need to go. It's just a little bit easier for many folk when they're doing this. How's this process work with the blank? Key goes all the way in, 
Shim goes into the first chamber. Now I can't get it any further. I'm actually hitting that pin stack. So I'm going to ease my blank key out. And you can see, you can see how far I am from the rear of the lock. Well, let's keep giving it little taps and then ka-chunk. Look at that, just went in further. So now I'm working the next pin. And ka-chunk, just went in even further. And you can do that, you can keep stepping your way down the lock while holding the shim, not just pinching it, you know, on the tips of your fingers. And the whole time I'm easing this blank outward. There we go, ka-chunk. Just went in to the third position. So now this five pin lock is only being held in, in position by two more pins. And once you're down to the last section, I mean, you really don't need the holder anymore. There's not much shim sticking out of here beyond what you've got. There we go. There we go. That lock is now turned. This plug is now free. We'd be able to eject this out with a follower, dump the pins onto a pinning tray, measure them, organize them, reassemble the whole lock cleanly, snap it back shut. No forensic evidence, essentially, that would easily be detected and determined because there's a good chance a forensic tech, if it ever came down to it, would be using a shim to open the lock the way you just did. There you go. The Shim Holder Holder, or more snazzily called by 3D Locksport, the Screw Utility Keychain, or of course by us, the Lockpicking Lipstick. Available again in your choice of colors. We got Bad Girl Blue, we've got Excited Eggplant, we've got Clove Cigarette Smoking Goth in the Club, and what I think will probably be most people's favorite, I like it the most, is the Red Queen right here. So, if you're interested in this, you know, these are, these are not hard to make if you wanted to try to figure out how to make your own. But if you'd want one from us, you can get them on, you know, I don't like to mention Red Team Tools, but you, I'll mention the other site, right? I'll mention 3D Locksport. They're over on 3D Locksport, where they're slightly cheaper. Uh, he doesn't have cylinder shims in stock because, you know, Tony doesn't keep those around. Uh, we do, so ours cost a little bit more because we give you a pack of shims to start out. But whatever you want to do, whatever you want to try, I hope you enjoy uh, using these and not having these crumple up and get lost in the bottom of your pick kit and everything. Like that's, that's my perpetual problem with cylinder shims, is where the hell do I keep them? I love that I finally have a spot to keep them around now. But uh, yeah, if you want to try this out, you know the deal, right? This is going to be the giveaway, obviously, this week. Uh, maybe I'll give a couple of them away, and fingers crossed that those of you who write in, I'll just hit you in order. You choose your color. If it's one that somebody else hasn't chosen, I'll give it to you, okay? Enjoy yourselves, uh, have fun learning, have fun trying this, and as always, stay safe out there.